So all these events are causes you as NGOs are working for. However, when you tell me events in Lebanon, this is what comes to my mind. This is the Lebanon that we want to show, and this is exactly the life in Lebanon and the events that we are trying to promote. Concerts, music, art, uh, art exhibitions, everything that you can see here are events also happening here. And when we founded Leptivity, we were very surprised by the amount of people coming and telling us, we are surprised how many events are happening every day. We didn't know that our country was that rich in events and activities. We thought that it was just a boring country. And this is how the idea of Leptivity came in. Now you will ask me, as an NGO or as an association, how can I benefit from events? Anyone can tell me? How can an NGO benefit from events? Raise awareness, excellent. What else? Fundraising, what else? Sorry? Visibility, exactly. So events are more important than you think. They could raise awareness, educate people about the cause you are working for. They can change perspective of mainly how you see things. And they can also diversify your income source because people are bored to, uh, ask for, uh, to keep uh, listening to people asking them to donate and please help us, help this NGO, help this cause. There are so many problems and causes in this world. And we need really to find creative ways and out-of-the-box ways to help get um, uh, another income source. What about also having more, um, expand your network and having more donors, expand your volunteers, raise funds also in a fun way, as you said. Say thank you to the community and also motivate again your volunteers. Now, what kind of events? We have so many events on Leptivity every day and we are amazed by the number of fundraising we are getting. So these are examples of some fundraising events that you also could organize. Some of them could be a fundraising party, like every Monday at Skybar, there's a fundraising uh, event for different NGOs. You can see some examples here. It could be a book sale. It could be also an auction, sushi night, uh, a concert. You can see heartbeat, bleeding voices, and many other events, um, maybe cinema, theater. Also, you can think of uh, the marathon or as well, Maybe the Chocolat, did you listen? Did you hear about it? The Chocolat event, it was for the Autism Society. You can also go more creative. Can you give me more example about fundraising events? Any other fundraising idea? Something that you organize as an NGO? Anyone? Okay, so, sorry? Bake sales, that's a very good idea as well. Anything else? Concert. Cards for Christmas, so this could be also like a fair or something to organize. These are also more creative events like car wash, why not a car wash event? Or also walk-in movie, for example, the Red Cross did this beautiful event and they had tons of people coming. They did an outdoor um, cinema and everyone could come and watch in their car and the movie was great, so you can understand a bit the concept. So it was really fun. Or also a fashion show that was done by Chance Association um, as well as a tarbouche night, a typical oriental night. Some other uh, ideas could be uh, a flash mob. Why not? So you can go creative, go crazy, think about out-of-the-box ideas to, to uh, raise funds. Now, if you are interested in those activities, you can check the upcoming events coming soon on Leptivity as well. For example, those three events are coming next week, are happening starting today till next week, like the big event in Forum de Beirut for the Iraqi refugees, where people will donate from family to family, they will donate, donate clothes. And Mas Jobrani is coming to support Sanad, the association, and also at the Gray, there is a big a Christmas fair, and all the benefits will go to different charity organizations. So an event is much more than an outing, because it connects people with the same vision, with the same mission, and it gives the power of human interaction. So it's very important to create and to think about organizing those events to your, um, to your NGO. Now, some tips for you when you organize such events is first try to find events that really fits your NGO and your mission. Don't do something that is completely not related. And also, 
uh, think about uh, the audience. Who do you want to target? Is it young people? Is it old people? Is it everyone? So who is exactly your target? And try to include auctions, a tombola, raffles, so everything you can include to get even more money in your event. It would be very uh, enriching for you. As well, also, if you can prepare a brochure and include some uh, of your achievements, your, your cause, your mission, you will raise awareness and people will be able to understand more the cause that you are, uh, you are working for. And if they understand your cause, they will definitely also help you. So this is what you want to do. And also, when you organize an event, you need to spread the word because you can have the greatest event in the world and not having anyone attending it. So this is where our Laptivity came in, and we help you promote your events for free. So you can add your event in a simple click, and it goes to laptivity.com, and it gets to everyone in the community. Now, we also help uh, NGOs in, uh, by sponsoring their events, like those uh, Donnez Sans Comté, Chance, TEDx Beirut, and many other. And um, like, uh, now you know where to go to know what's happening in Lebanon. And for us, it is more than a mission. What we are doing for the NGOs and for the community is really a mission. It's more than a company. Thank you so much.